Hello, I'm Cal. Welcome. This one we're going to take a look at the Cooler Master Master Box Q300L, which is a mini tower case uh, for a PC build. This is going to be part of the retro gaming computer they're going to be building. So, there's going to be a series of these videos, and it's to house this CPU that I cleaned up in one of the previous videos the Dirty Dirty AMD. So this one is slightly damaged in transit. Hopefully it's okay inside. If not, it's going straight back. So we're just going to take it out of the box. There we are then, out of the box. I understand why it's called the master box, because it's more or less his little box size. This is a mini tower and it does support micro ITX and mini ITX uh, size motherboards. Some screws on the side here, I think I'm going to need a screwdriver to get into them. Uh, but yeah, it's got a dust filter on the front. One on the top, really easy to, to move, it's all magnetic. This is a steel and plastic case. And first impressions, it looks alright, looks nice. The unusual thing about this is it's not got the USB ports at the front. Normally you've got them in the front or at the top, just on like a little panel here. It's actually got them on the little window. Here you can see them on this side. There's two USB 3 ports there, power button, um, audio in and out, and a little reset button there as well. And then we've got the usual setup where we've got two removable panels. We've got a little window panel here, which is nice to show off your uh, components. And I see the back panel here, so I'm going to need a screwdriver to get into those, so we'll do that in a second. But on the bottom, there's another dust filter and little, little pegs for your feet. And I believe this is all removable, so you can actually have it in two positions. You can either have it in the standing position or maybe that sort of position if you're venting up and then you've got access to all your ports. Show a little diagram on there on screen now just to explain that. And also, this is movable as well, so you can have that in I think three different positions. I'll put a little diagram on screen for that as well. But yeah, it looks nice. It's nice and modern, easy to maintain with the filters. So I'm just gonna get a screwdriver and we'll have a look inside. Bring this back. I don't really like these to be honest. I don't like these on my wires at all. But I'm just going to tie them up just to so I can flip this thing around. So I've gone with the dimensions then. It's 387 millimeters long, it's 230 millimeters wide, 381 millimeters high. So as I said, it supports micro ITX and mini ITX. You're not going to get a full ITX board in here. It looks as though it's got uh, two drive bays, two and a half inch drives, and it's got a plate here for a hard disk drive. Child, a hard disk drive in there. It looks as though it's got two and a half inch bays here. 
It's quite a lot of distance here, quite a lot there for your um, cable management. Got quite a, little, quite a lot of places here to tie things to. And some gaps here to feed wires and things through. Even at the bottom it's got some some spaces to wire things through. Comes with 120mm rear fan. That means it's cooler mass down, the fan should be decent and it's easily replaceable if you don't want it. You know if it ends up being too noisy. Now obviously you can put a 120mm radiator in there if you want. It's got a lot of distance here as well. It's got room here for normal ATX power supply, PS2. And it's got the one peg in there already, which is the one that never really moves for any of the um, motherboards. So you can install a fan at the bottom, it looks like. Let's just go through all the fans with you then. So, pre installed fan has got a 120mm one at the rear. Um, at the front, you can have either two. 120 or two 140 millimeters on the top it's going to be two 120 millimeter ones uh, radiators obviously you can have one at the back um, 120 millimeter radiator but at the front you can have 240 millimeter radiator and you can fit another fan on the bottom if you wanted to it's going to be 120mm. Put a little diagram on screen for that. And it's all painted inside. No sharp edges or anything. Except this one peg that sticks out. Oh, there's another one here. That one's in there as well. Obviously all your uh, bits and bobs that you need. The usual included cable ties and screws and things are all in here. So normally a, a box that uh, comes with these. Uh, but there isn't one with this one just all in the bag which is great less on the planet I know it's plastic but yeah legs uh, pretty decent height uh, for airflow from, from the bottom and yeah it looks like a decent case just unsure about these ones being on the side never had that before it's normally at the front or at the top on a little panel but yeah it can be different it's only going to be a retro gaming machine, so that's the plan for it. Back ones here, let's have a quick look at them. It looks as though these are the, uh, the takeaway ones. Take away, and there's no putting them back. Some of the cases they've got like screws that hold these in, so you can swap and change depending on what motherboard you put in there. It looks as though once you take these out, that's going to be it. You won't be able to put them back in, I don't believe. We'll test that during the build. Well, that's my first impression. Yeah. Put it all together. With the dust covers. Really nice and simple. I'll have it that way. Way. Really easy to remove and looks nice. Nice and modern, nice and small. Yeah, quite happy with the purchase for that. I got this for under £50. Oh, you caught me. Just noticed when I was putting this back on this panel, um, one 120mm fan at the back is actually height adjustable. So if you've got components that's going to be in the way, like extra fans or things, or a thermal. A header on the motherboard uh, you can actually move this up and down so bonus you don't normally see that on a case right back to me from earlier don't forget to like and subscribe this is just part of a retro gaming rig that I'm building more to come my name is Cal have a good morning afternoon or good evening farewell till next time and I'll see you later